Hey everyone, so we've finally reached the end of our reamp journey. So we've gone from reamping at home, you know, using the conventional method of running our DI signal into an amp and recording that back in. And we've also done it with pedals where we went ahead and ran whatever we wanted into a guitar pedal, kind of played with the settings and printed that on. And then we moved over to the studio and demonstrated the same thing using a Kemper. And today we're going to wrap it up by using my favorite feature of the Radial XDC, and that is the loop feature. So let's break down what that means. So we bring audio into the back of the radial, and we can activate these loops. Now, what that means is that on the back, there are some more uh, inputs on the back of that box that allow you to run pedals into the box before going back out into whatever input you want to. So what we're using it for is we're going to go and use loop a send come out of there run it into a pedal and we're going to come back in and run back into the box and another great thing about that feature is that we also have a dry wet knob so we can really fine tune the tones that we want to get so bringing it over to the daw now we have a couple of stock loops from logic we have this rhythm guitar loop and then we have this drum loop here and we're going to go ahead and just kind of show off how this is going to work so first off, we want to make sure we're good as far as our I.O. in the box. So let's take a look at that. So we have the I.O. plugin here and we have a preset for our reamping. So we're doing pedals reamp. Now let's go ahead and hear how this sounds just dry, just to get an idea of what this loop sounds like. So just a simple guitar loop. We're going to go extreme and just throw a fuzz on it just to kind of show off what is happening here in a more like clear, easy to hear way. Now over on the reamp box itself, we have to go ahead and make sure that our settings are set correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to the box itself. So now let's go ahead and show off what this sounds like. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the pedal and turn it on about halfway through this loop and just kind of give you a nice before and after. Let's do that. So pretty intense right there, pretty uh, extreme settings, probably not what we'd use realistically. But again, like I said, there is a dry wet knob. So let's kind of show off how that can that can kind of reel in a really extreme tone. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same loop and I'm going to adjust from from wet to dry and kind of go in the middle so you can get an idea of how that sounds like. So let's go with that. So there you go. Now you can kind of find a happy medium if you wanted to. More than anything, this is to demonstrate what, you know, a reamp kind of using these pedals sounds like in just the most clear way possible. So now let's do it with some drums. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up this drum loop. Let's go ahead and mute that. All right. So here is that drum loop. Now this is what it sounds like dry. So let's let's take a listen to it. So cool drum loop. Um, one of my favorite things about reamping with pedals is that when you run drums through fuzz pedals, it can just get really gnarly really fast. That's just a lot of fun to play with. So we're going to go ahead and do the same kind of dry wet transformation and kind of meet in a really nice sweet spot where we have just the right amount of fuzz going with this drum loop. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, we have reached the end of our reamp journey. I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope you took something of value from this course. And I'll see you guys later. 
Thank you for watching. Goodbye.